Hello, I'm Danielle, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We're here at the Amuna Project, are continuing our in our series our, of videos with respect to guidance, uh, advice, education, inspiration, and I'd like to talk this morning uh, briefly about the why of a mitzvah. There are many mitzvahs, hukim, by the way. Um, these are mitzvahs that do not have an obvious reason. They don't make any apparent sense. It makes sense. Don't steal. Don't commit adultery. You know, don't murder. All these are self-evident why, they why they're there. But there's certain mitzvahs that don't make sense. You just do them. Um, you know, tzitzes, where it fringes on the corners of your garments throughout a generation. They put on a thread of blue. Why? Um, the, the, the red heifer, all the trouble to make ashes, to, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, to a certain extent, uh, keeping kosher, not blending fibers, shotness. There's no obvious apparent reason. Um, we have no idea of the hidden motives behind any um, given mitzvah. Uh, we can, however, attempt to glean some lessons uh, with respect uh, to matters to which the Torah alludes. Um, hints, certain themes, what we call remes, um, these, are, these are hints. Uh, a commandment is saying this, but it makes an allusion um, to something else. Um, we know that uh, everything that Hashem does, it's an expression of His uh, beneficence. Even when we suffer, even when Hashem sends us uh, punishments and trials and tribulations that attack the very foundations of, um, uh, of uh, be our belief, the foundations of Yiddishkeit. Um, when we suffer when we're subject to uh, denunciations, when when others attack us physically uh, or verbally, um, sometimes in a very cruel manner, um, we we are subject to to doubt, uh, and um, as to why uh, heaven uh, allows this to happen, and and if it's for the good. The good is not very obvious. Um, there are a positive uh, purpose to his decrees, and um, sometimes it's hard to uh, to figure that out. Um, the Piazna uh, uh, Rebbe uh, comments that everything is for the good. Uh, everything is for a purpose. God uh, does this, and even though um, we're punished, uh, and even though the, the God sometimes acts the, attacks the institutions, shuls, uh, the synagogues, um, yeshivas, haters, we still have to trust that uh, that everything is um, for the good. You have to remember that the the uh, Piazesna Rebbe wrote his works while he was interred in a concentration camp, when not only the people, <coughs> not only the people were being attacked, but um, synagogues were being destroyed, uh, yeshivas were, were being destroyed, uh, haters, children's schools, everything um, was going up in flames. And yet he said, there's a divine purpose for all of uh, Hashem's uh, decrees, and it's difficult sometimes to see, but we have to trust. We have to have bitachon. Um, eventually, in the fullness of time, we will see uh, the divine purpose. It's very difficult in the short term um, to see the hand of God or why Hashem is doing these things. Why is the Creator putting us through this stuff? Um, we have to... Um, we have to have faith that this somewhat ambiguous behavior um, is ultimately for the good, for the long-term good, uh, and um, we trust uh, in Hashem, 
and um, regardless of the questions we may have. And uh, we will uh, know, we will trust that in the fullness of time, all our questions uh, will be answered. Uh, this is sometimes a difficult thing to do because the gut reaction is to, uh, is to, be, is to blame God to say that there's no reason. It takes strength um, and uh, a firmness of purpose uh, to do this. And uh, like any muscle, it can be developed. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.